peeps. So now we're gonna make your very own drum. This is gonna be pretty awesome. <laughs> First, you need to find something though, and this might be a little bit tricky. So if you don't have this, I understand, but if you do, try and look around your house for something that you can use that someone's not gonna get mad at you for using. <laughs> and it should be something that has a really big wide opening. Now it could be a cylinder thing like this. This is like a little um, waste paper basket kind of thing that I don't need anymore. Or it could be just um, a round frame like uh, if someone in your house likes to do embroidery they might have like embroidery hoop um, or something like that that has a large open frame the best place to look for stuff like that's a big open jug is actually the recycling bin da, 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 da. you might have a big plastic jug like from those little um, lychee jello fruit things or from um, cheesy poofs they come in those big plastic tubs, something like that. That's a really good thing to use. Um, if you have a small bucket that no one's using and they don't mind if you make it into a drum, that would be incredible. Um, that's the kind of thing you're looking for. I know it's gonna be tricky. This is kind of more the thing where now that you know you need one or that you know you want one, come on, you know you do, um, then you'll be looking around your house and anytime someone's like, oh, I'm gonna throw this old cylindrical thing away, you're like, no! I got it rock okay here we go so then whenever someday when you find your thing to make a drum what you're gonna do is cover the whole entire open area with tape okay now it does matter what kind of tape you use masking tape and eh, way too flimsy and papery it's just gonna rip duct tape eh, too thick too gummy and too stretchy mm, you don't want that um, little tiny scotch tape uh, way too flimsy and it's gonna break. The best kind of tape um, for this drum is actually the uh, clear or brown packing tape. It's just strong enough and thick enough, but not too thick, not too gummy, strong enough, but not too strong so that it doesn't even make a good sound. So when you finally find your thing, your vessel and your tape, what you're gonna do is start by going straight across. Make sure you have enough left over here to go down the side of the bucket or drum or bucket or cylinder or whatever you got. Okay. Basically, that's all you have to do and you just have to now go all the way around, okay? You can do two things. You can either go, everything goes through the center from different angles or you can go straight across, all the way across. And actually, there's no, there's no real reason to do one or the other. So, and do what everything seems right to you. I'm gonna do the crisscross way. makes a really cool star at the top. I don't know if you can see that with the tape. Always make sure you have enough of left over. Don't make the tape just barely to the edge. It's obviously, you know, it's just going to pull into the middle as soon as you hit it with the mallet. Now that you've gone around and done your tape and completed the uh, top, head, the drum head. Now that you've completed your drum head, 
You can coat it with one layer of tape if you're using a thicker packing tape. If you're using that really thin kind, I would highly recommend two coats. It's better to err on the side of thicker rather than thinner because it's just going to break right away. And it's kind of a little bit weirdly hard to fix. Well, once you're done with that, then what you want to do is do one layer of tape around the body of the drum right underneath the lip. And that's going to seal in all of your uh, ends of your tape pieces. I'm doing mine in two halves because there's the handle of the bucket that is in my way. It also makes my drum kind of cool so I can carry it around easily. That's awesome. Now, of course, decoration always very important. If you wanted to even draw on the head of the drum, you could absolutely do that. But you know what you need to do if you ever want to draw on plastic, right? You have to use a permanent marker. So like a Sharpie. So if you want to draw on the plastic head, that would be so cool. But just remember, it has to be a permanent marker like a Sharpie. Okay? And then, ooh, I'm going to use my homemade mallet from the other video. What? Now, you know, in um, Brazil, when they play drums in Carnaval, the drummer actually has one drumstick for the head of the drum and another little short drumstick that they play um, the high note with. So you can actually get a bunch of different um, beats if you want to be really tricky and use a little bit of a hard stick, like I'm using a chopstick, obviously you could use a pencil or whatever, but then you can get more beats. Alright peeps, rock on with your homemade drum!